Hi, and welcome back to my review of Giants Bobblehead. Today, let's take a look at the Rod Becker Bobblehead that was given away early this year on May 21st, 2013, as part of the Until There's a Cure Day event uh, celebration. Uh, 2013 marks the 20th anniversary of the original Until There's a Cure Day, of which uh, Rod Beck was the original spokesman for the organization. Rod Beck, throughout his career, until his untimely demise, uh, was a huge sponsor uh, and a uh, participant in that event in raising money for AIDS research. Uh, Rod Beck is a bobblehead. It stands, let's see, about seven inches tall, pretty good size. Uh, his base is somewhere around four by two on a overlooking mound. There's a slight um, logo right there until there's a Cure Day logo. The Rod Beck is on the front and not on the side as you see in most bobbleheads. The Rod Beck, the bobblehead in the, in the cream white, actually it's not the cream white, it's the white white jersey that the Giants used to wear back in the days in Candlestick, uh, I guess in 93. Uh, the jersey is slightly different. You'll notice that the jo Giants logo, the Giant G and the S are much larger than the rest of it. This is a different font than they have on the current Giants jersey. Uh, Rod Beck, uh, also known as Shooter, is, uh, is sporting his uh, Fu Manchu mustache with a big mullet in the back. His arm dangling, his spy <laughs> dangling by his side there. Uh, Rod Beck, Beck on his name, number 47. He looks just like this uh, photo there. Uh, the box itself is pretty cool. For uh, they, the Giants do a really cool job of uh, making boxes that are pretty cool. I mean, he looks just like this photo. There is also a limited edition gray jersey that's out there. If you can find it, he, it looks exactly the same as this guy. Uh, apparently, the story is that they were supposed to have some kind of triples alley special event or not got cancelled and so they took all the regular ones and the special edition ones and they mixed them up so if you walked into the ballpark you could have gotten either the gray one or the white one there was no actual uh, special event and so some people got one or the other and then there was a mad scramble to try to get both uh, and this one looks very similar again um, he's about seven inches tall and the difference I guess is the fact that the logo is on the thing but the base is slightly different it's like a slight bronzing effect that's here that's not on the regular version but that's not that different basically they've made the exact same bobblehead and they painted it a different color the base is slightly different the jersey is slightly different the chest plate is slightly different but for the most part it's the same bobblehead um, and even the box that they gave out the uh, special edition one looks exactly alike except that uh, there's a little sticker right there that says special edition otherwise Pretty much it's the same bobblehead. So what do you expect to pay for this if you're looking for it on the open market on Craigslist, eBay? I think this guy's somewhere around $25, $30. Uh, this guy's somewhere around three times that value, somewhere around $60, $75, $80. I, I've seen a lot of um, uh, ex exploitation out there. I don't know what's going on, but I think percep the perception is the more rarer one should be more, even though in reality, no one has any clue how many of these are actually out there. Sometimes the Giants will make, you know, 20,000 of these, or 3,000 of these, or 5,000 of these, or 10,000 of them, uh, and we'll never know um, how many were out there. But uh, in any case, they are out there. If you're looking, it is a pretty cool uh, looking bobblehead. Uh, nice decoration. I thought the only thing I, I wish that they had done is that they actually made his arm dangle, because that would have been pretty cool. In any case, thanks for watching. Go Giants. Bye. Hmm, this is a pretty cool looking bobblehead, but there's only one thing that could possibly make it just a slightly bit better, is that if his arm just kind of dangled a little bit, maybe we took our little Dremel tool and just kind of, you know, Luke Skywalker his arm off, that would be pretty cool. Maybe we could find our Dremel. We could just, yeah, yeah.